What's up my little cheese biscuits and welcome to Indie Gold, the place where all kinds of indie games get to shine. Previously I talked about Cloudberry Kingdom and its randomized platforming wonders, but that doesn't mean I think they're the only ones that should succeed in the market today. If you happen to enjoy games like Banjo-Kazooie and The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker, this game that I'm about to talk about today might be of interest to you. A Hat in Time which is developed by the small team known as Gears for Breakfast, draws a lot of its inspiration from a lot of these early games. When you first look at this game, you might think that it closely resembles The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker. You might also notice that like Banjo-Kazooie, this game is a collect-a-thon of sorts, but it won't be exactly the same experience as some of these other games that you may have played. In this game, time is going haywire basically, so... You play as this protagonist named Hat Kid who has to find all the time pieces in order to stabilize time again. Of course, you're in a race against the antagonist known as Mustache Girl who wants to use time for evil. The different parts of the story are split up into seven chapters and each chapter will have you performing different tasks and collecting different things in order to proceed on to the next chapter. So far, the game looks like it's shaping up rather nicely, and I can't wait to play it when it comes out in 2014. If there's one thing I could say about the staff behind this project, it's that they are super optimistic. I'm really proud of that. Initially, this team was only looking to raise $30,000 for this game, but as you can see from the Kickstarter page now, it's actually got way more than that, like around 197,000 as of this video. It's probably going to be 200,000 by the time you see this, which would mean that they've reached all of their stretch goals. Of course, it's not too late to contribute if you still want to. I'm pretty sure they'd appreciate every single penny that they get from the Kickstarter. So far, the game is only set for release on the Windows and Mac operating systems. But there is the possibility that if the Hat in Time gets enough votes on Steam, then it'll be greenlit onto their store. Also, there's the possibility of a Wii U release as well. While they can't really guarantee anything as of yet, they are looking into several deals with certain publishers to see if they can get the Unreal Engine for cheaper than what it would normally go for. So, if it does happen to get on the Wii U, That'll be pretty awesome. In fact, I'd probably purchase it on the Wii U if that was the case. But if they don't happen to release it there, no big deal, I'll just get it on PC. Gears for Breakfast is already making a magnificent game with just little tools and a limited budget. That alone already nets them a lot of respect from me. In the end, I highly recommend that you all go check out A Hat in Time. It definitely looks like another title that's gonna go win the gold. But just out of curiosity, what other indie games are you excited for? If you suggest one to me, I may even feature it in the next episode of Indie Gold. But that's about it for this video, so I guess I'll see you all later.